The ICT industry has given me multiple opportunities and actually choosing one is really difficult. Um, it's almost like having nine lives and I'm not a cat lover. Um, but it's an industry you never outgrow, it's always learning, it's always reinvigorating yourself and it's equally rewarding for the innovator and the quiet achiever. So just a, quite a career highlight from my perspective was the opportunity to take on an international posting in California where I ran an IT consulting and IT recruitment company that had been newly acquired. I was exposed to IT innovation in the fast lane in Silicon Valley and I actually worked with businesses who were in the boom and bust area. And um, from there I took on a role that probably inspired me to where I am today, which is in talent management working with companies to make sure that they had a balanced workforce. When I returned to Australia, I was entrusted with reinvigorating an IT equipment company, building a service offering, actually became the leader in that part of the industry, and then managed to sell that business on to become bigger and better than I'd ever made it. I've just recently bought my own IT recruitment company, GMT People, and that's to live out my passion of putting people in IT in the right places. But I suppose most importantly and most inspiring has been my work with Vic ICT for Women. Here we are taking the championing women in IT and this untapped potential in the industry and going into businesses uh, government and the education sector and really inspiring them to do more and open up this opportunity for women and this untapped potential for Australia. So it's recognising the importance of the entry, retention and progression of women in IT. What I and the others in Vic ICT for Women and the women in my industry do every day. For me, that the, the industry recognises that gender diversity is a huge issue that we really need to tackle with earnest and that we want to not only gain the best out of the available IT resources but also stem the skills shortage. It's also taught me that you don't need to be in a large organisation. In fact, you don't need to be Einstein and you don't need to be a rabid feminist to actually drive the change that focus on giving women in IT an opportunity. But it's the passion that you need. It's the belief in your cause and it's forums like this that actually recognise the need and value what you do in the industry. Throughout the world we have this huge untapped IT resource capability within women. We need to harness this to maintain a flexible, competitive IT capability here in Australia. So my vision is to see a successful ICT industry in Australia driven by greater participation of women at all levels. What I think I've been working towards and my involvement with Vic ICT for women and actually the ACS allowing me to actually bring a national footprint to the cause that we all think is so important.